Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about wind noise and hearing loss. Coming right up. So let me just set the stage for you when you think about hearing loss and wind noise. And by the way, subscribe. Click subscribe right down on the bottom there. Check us out. We have plenty more videos. Share it with your friends because we're gonna give you lots of cool information. My point here today is we're gonna give you an integrous amount of information. This is really built up with a lot of information. Okay, so it, it's March, 2020. I decide to go take a walk. And by the way, you should go always go take at least a 20 minute walk every day. So I'm trying to do that and I'm walking with my hearing aids. Now I wear hearing aids. This is my receiver in the canal. It's red because I want to show you. It's not that big a deal. No one really can see it. And so I have a mild amount of hearing loss because of all the problems that I've had, um, many surgeries and a lot of noise damage that I've had over the years. So I'm walking down this area and I'm kind of protected by the fence line and the wind is coming from the south. So I'm walking um, to the east. And so I'm going this direction as I, I walk along, I hear the wind a little, but it's not that big a deal, right? So I turn the corner and I come around this side and the wind is hitting me pretty hard. So I check out the wind and the wind is around 20 miles an hour. Then I take my iPhone out and I have a program that does this and I can look at those at the app. And I turn my microphone of my iPhone right into the wind and I averaged it and it was 80 decibels. Now that's 80 decibels SPL, sound pressure level. So I started to look this up and as it goes up every 10 miles an hour, it's as much as five to seven decibels above that level. So you're talking about a really loud sound. Just to give you a perspective, right now I'm talking to you about 60, 65 decibels. It's not a loud sound, but we're talking about a big difference between talking normally. If my wife was out there walking with me, if we were trying to go together and she's talking normally, would I hear her at 65 decibels with the wind noise at 80 and I've got a mild to moderate hearing loss even with my hearing aids? Patients come into me all the time and say this, I drive into a quick trip or come and go, whatever that place might be to get their gas. And I get out of the car and the wind just whips me. What's happening? That's a great question because we've just set up this point that happens out there. So when you walk into most of those gas stations, you'll see the wind whip in underneath the awning that happens. And so the patient might be sitting there looking, talking to someone else. They might be talking to the person through the speaker system and those speaker systems are not great. And you can't understand and you say, I have this wind noise. How well can you hear when there's that much wind noise? Let me put it to you this way. So back in the early 90s, I was messing around with an idea about speech and noise. What I wanted to do, and it was, this is just an early study, and I never published it, I never put it together, I just remember some of the ideas that I was doing. So I put a little bit of a background noise, five decibels over, my speech presentation score. So that's a plus or plus five decibel signal to noise ratio. And I wanted to see if a person had at least some level of hearing loss, mild, moderate, severe, profound, whatever. And I wa wanted to see what their possibilities were. And what I found is this, <clears throat> if they had any level of hearing loss, their scores went from 100%, which is the best you could do, down to 60%. If you had a moderate to severe hearing loss, you were 40% and even lower. That's a person with any level of hearing loss. That includes me. So when I'm in a noisy place, I'm only under, gonna hear when it's that noisy with the wind specifically, because wind covers up all speech ranges. That wind, is so loud that I can only understand 60% of the words. That's reality, boys and girls. 
Then I tested people, I had about 30 people or so um, that had normal hearing. So I tested their hearing and I checked the same thing, five decibels over the noise. And we found that a person with perfect hearing can only understand about 80% of the words. Now think about this for a second. You're in a restaurant and you're trying to listen to people. If you just look around, go there by yourself, just for the heck of it, watch people lean in and they're looking at each other and they're paying attention to one another. That is them working harder to understand a person. If you go to bars, which you might do that, or, you, or you're in a conference and you're talking to someone, guess what happens as the noise level comes in? They start looking at each other and they're almost whispering in each other's ears. That's because that's that difficult. So if I can speak 60, 65 decibels on a normal basis, by the way, I've sang on, on stage 1,500 people, I mean 1,500 uh, times over the years. My biggest was about 1,500 people in there. Uh, I, and I've done you know, lots of speeches and, and, and lots of conversations in front of groups. So I can speak pretty loudly without looking like I'm screaming at you. Now, if you scream, you're probably up at 80, 85 decibels at best. You really can't get louder than that. I mean, I'm sure someone could try to do it and show me, show me up here with that. But basically, that's the reality that happens. So when you have I want to give you this correct expression. When you have a problem with wind and you can't understand and you come back to us and say, hey, listen, these aren't working in windy situations. We have wind noise controllers to calm them down, but don't think that you're going to understand everyone. I see people and I see dispensers and audiologists who don't understand their technology and try to tell people, we're gonna, we're gonna take away that problem with wind noise controllers. We can reduce it and make it better for you, but I wanna tell you the truth. Truth is, the best you can maybe understand is 60% of the words. How do you make the difference up? By looking at them. And that concludes our situation today. So I, you're gonna find a lot more straightforward, integrous information, and we wanna do that for you. So subscribe, share this with your friends, tell other people about us. Thank you so much.